here in Green Country. We Welcome, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, Kirsten and Max. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day and evening. It's always to busy. stop by and hang out with these naughty folks. <laughs> well, actually, Christmas Eve is one of my slower times. Everything's loaded, the sleigh's all ready, and I can come around and enjoy some of the good little boys and girls for just one last moment. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, there How has it been this season? Has it been, has it been crazy? It's been crazy. It's been real fun, but it always is. Yeah. It always is. What do you like most about the journey around the world? I, you know, I like just visiting all the different cultures and lovely children. They have so many different holiday events and, and schedules, and every one of them is just like every other one. They want Santa, they have a list, and their eyes are big as they can be. That's awesome. All right, who makes the best cookies? Ooh, Ooh Mrs. Claus. <laughs> he has to no, give the shout-out. You are a out. smart man. <laughs> <laughs> good list. <laughs> well, speaking of kids, too, uh, talking a little bit about uh, good, good boys and girls versus yes, bad boys and girls, yes. a little bit of a change, change well, from your end, huh? Santa has always had a problem with giving coal. Uh, it's kind of a limited resource, and it means the child doesn't get anything at all. And Santa and Mrs. Claus, we, th we thought of... We want to give a toy anyway, but how do we let them know that they need to work a little harder? So we've noticed that next to our island of misfit toys, we've had this accumulation of mismatched socks. And Mrs. Claus says uh, they're coming from every mom and dad's dryer all over the world. They go out through the vent into the atmosphere and they land in the same spot and they've made this island. The elves wear them, they love mismatched socks. <laughs> she said, why not put one in each little child's stocking to let them know with their gift, they could have been a little better. Wow, mm. a lot of those socks are mine. Enjoy children. <laughs> 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 All right, so kids at home, know if you get a mismatched sock. Get a mism it may not fit you, it may look silly, but it says you have time to be better for next year. There you go. Yeah. Came from the big man himself. I like that. All right. Uh, well, you're going to help me give the forecast here in just a bit. Right? Yeah, let's do that. We, got, yes. we have the Christmas Eve forecast coming for you. Let's talk about what's going on right now, though. 57 degrees for you currently. Winds out of the west at 12 miles per hour and still holding on to a few clouds. However, we are going to be looking for gradually clearing skies as we move into the evening, which, of course, will be perfect for Santa here. Temperatures right now, low 50s in Coffeeville, upper 60s towards McAllister, 57 here in Tulsa, 54 for you uh, in Bartlesville. Let's look at that future track. We're going to be seeing a couple of these clouds still up to the north, otherwise mostly clear spot skies, especially south as you head towards McAllister uh, and again, southern half of uh, Greene County for you. Overnight though, we start to clear. You notice these clouds move on out by 8 p.m. Looking perfect if you're headed out to church tonight. Should be great for you. It'll be a little chilly, but it'll be dry. At two 2 a.m. Again, right through the overnight hours, looking perfect across green country, really across all of Oklahoma. Moving into tomorrow morning by 7 a.m. as you're waking up. Again, looking for lots of sunshine. A beautiful day overall for Christmas, but we do start to get a couple of building clouds as we head into the evening. So by 8 o'clock, a few more of these clouds build on in from the south. This is the next system that's moving through. It's going to be bringing us some rain as we head into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And with that, we could be looking at upwards of anywhere from five to possibly eight inches of rainfall through parts of green country. The western half of the state could also be seeing some wintry weather. So we'll be watching that for you. All right, Santa, Christmas Eve forecast. Oh, yes. You hear the jingles. He's coming. He's coming. Santa, this is you. I want you to stand right here, my friend. All righty. Let us know exactly what to expect tonight. Well, tonight it looks like at 9 a.m. clear skies and 44 degrees, chilly at midnight at 40, and 4 a.m. it's going to be a perfect night for Santa to be out on his route. 37 degrees. And I'm, oh, I'm sorry. And tomorrow I'm, too. We've got tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is going to be an excellent day. 63 degrees, chilly, nice, late p.m. Looking forward to seeing all you good little boys and girls. 
Yeah, looking to be pretty good. And Santa, we're going to talk too about the seven day forecast so that people see kind of what's going on moving into the weekend too. Uh, so again, you notice on Friday and you're just fine where you're at. You can stay right there. Friday again, Friday is for Christmas for us looking really nice at 63 heading into the weekend. Then we start to get a couple of showers. So it's something to take note of, especially if you have some plans some travel plans and you're making your way on out for the weekend. But man, for tonight looks pretty good. Perfect. Looking good, Max. Merry Christmas. Hey, you want to anchor the show or what? I yes. think you should. <laughs> Let's go. Start Christmas early.